Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Domifan 14 inch laptop monitor extender. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this is for adding a second screen to a laptop on the go. It's a 14 inch monitor, 1080p, 60 hertz, 300 candela per meter squared, 1001 contrast ratio. We have some more specs on the back, you can pause and read through those. This comes with a monitor, USB-A to USB-C cable, USB-C to USB-C cable, HDMI to Type-C cable, and bag. So let's get this open. So there's the monitor. Here we have the cables, a user guide, and this looks almost like kind of a quick start guide. So this talks about the different keys to control the monitor. This talks about connecting it to your laptop. If your laptop has USB Type-C, you can connect the monitor with just one cable. It says if there's no signal or the signal is unstable after connection, please connect an external 5 volt 2 amp power adapter to the laptop. I think that means actually the monitor. If your laptop has USB-A and HDMI, please use USB-A to USB-C cable and HDMI to Type-C cable to connect to S1. And here's the user guide. I'll take a quick look at it. We have an introduction. Looks like similar diagrams here. Talks about connecting external devices. So you can connect this to your laptop or you can connect other devices to it. And that talks about settings on Windows, Mac. So let's close this and move that out of the way. Let's take a look at this. So it comes with this bag, pull that out. Okay, so the bag has a handle so you can carry it. That's very handy. Now I'll pull this out and here we have it. So this will hinge open. So this is spring loaded here. So to open it, I'll open it like that and swing that out, okay? The back here has a foot that comes out and we can adjust that so we can pull it down and move it into different positions based on the height we want. So that's really nice. Has a little flip out foot on the top to rest against the top of the monitor. We have some little slots in the bottom, that's for the speaker. Here are the ports in the back. We have Type-C1, Type-C2, and HDMI. Let me get my laptop over here. So here I have a 2015 MacBook Pro. So I'll put this on the back of the monitor. I want to open this, rest it on the top and on the sides. And then I'll take that kickstand in the back and I'll pull that out. And then I'll put that at the angle I want. So that's a little low for my liking. Actually, that's not bad since I'm standing up right now. If I was sitting at the desk, I'd want that a little lower. So then we have the monitor off to the side here. So let me get the appropriate cables. I want the HDMI to USB-C cable, which is here. Since this is an older computer, it has HDMI. And then I want the USB-C to USB-A cable. Now, if you have a newer computer, you can use this USB-C to USB-C cable. So I'm going to plug these in. The thicker one is HDMI. I'll pull off the protective film. And I'll plug these into the laptop. Okay, we'll let that boot up. And just like that, we have dual monitors. So I'll go into system preferences and I'll go into displays. And we can see the two monitors here. So it automatically configured how it's set up. Now that may not be the case when you set this up, but you can see it's extending the screen. So if I drag this here, I can drag it between the two screens. So let's go to display settings and I can say use as mirror for S1. And now we've mirrored the display. So you can see now as I move on one, it moves on both. I'm going to stop mirroring. So I can go into the second display here and I can change the resolution if I want, but I like the default resolution, so I'll leave that. I'm going to change this a little bit Okay, so on this Retina Mac, if I change it to more space, this is a similar size when it goes over to the second monitor. That doesn't need to be that way, but I kind of like it that way, so I know how things are going to fit over there. So let's show how you could use this. So if I'm a web developer, I could throw a website over here, and then on my left screen, I could have my code. So as I code over here, I could go over here, refresh my page, and check out my progress on my website. I could also put work on this screen. I could put a movie up on that screen. There are many things you can do with an extended monitor like this. Oftentimes when you work with an extended monitor, it's hard to go back to a single monitor because it's so much nicer having that extra real estate. Now say you're a student with this, living in a dorm, and you don't have a dedicated TV. So what we can do there is connect up a device like a Fire TV. So this is the Fire TV Cube. 
Now you could also use a Fire TV stick. You would need a female to female adapter, but I'll take the HDMI out here. And this will take a minute to boot up. And here we have the Fire TV. So let's take a quick look at the menu. So we kind of have standard menu controls here. We have brightness, contrast, backlight, sharpness, color temp, on-screen display, aspect ratio, power, HDR mode, signal source, volume. So to get that menu, I just pressed in on this button here. Now I can also press to the left. That will bring up the brightness display, and then you can adjust the brightness. You can also press to the right, and that will change the volume. So if you want to change the volume, you press to the right first, and then you can press left, right to change the volume. If you want to do brightness, you press to the left first, and then do left, right to change the brightness. And then of course you press in to get that menu. But this looks very nice. It's an IPS display. And of course now we can move around just like it was a TV or other monitor connected here. So that's a nice extra use you can get out of this monitor so let me plug it back into my laptop now another way you can use this is we'll pull this off here like so and we can set this up right and then I'll go to my display settings for the monitor and it's kind of hard to see here but there's a rotate option we'll rotate this 90 degrees Okay, so that was incorrect. I'll hit revert. Let's try that again. Instead of 90, we'll do 270. And that is correct. I'll say confirm. Done. Let's open up Safari. We'll drag that over there. Let's bring up a new site. And here we can have a portrait style display. So if you're working on a blog or something, maybe social media feed, you can have that up there in the horizontal aspect also. So that's just another way you can use this. Then when you're done using it, pull the cords out, fold this down. We'll pull this open and it will clamp against the screen and it will protect that screen and we'll put it in its bag. And of course the bag also has a place for your cables. So that's the Domi Fan 14 inch laptop screen extender. I really like what this enables. It allows you to take your laptop monitor and turn it into a dual screen display. Many people have dual screens in their home offices and they want that same capability on the go and this allows you to do that. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.